I'm not sure if you can hear behind me, there's a squirrel barking. And uh, so two of them have been chasing each other. It's a marital dispute, I think. Um, they've been chasing each other, threatening to hit each other. And really it's a shame because it's the kids that suffer in situations like these. So I hope they get things resolved so I can hear what's going on around me. I, uh, there was a doe that came in and I didn't see her, couldn't hear her. I just heard some footsteps. I knew something was around. I turned to look behind me and a doe saw me and she bounded off. So, uh, you yeah, know, it was unfortunate. It'd been nice to, uh, to take her. She looked like a decent, decent doe. But, um, yeah, so hopefully these two get things straightened out. I think it's been rainy uh, past few days in the morning, so maybe they'll use this time to feed a little bit. So we'll stick around another hour, hour and a half, and see how things shake out. that buck caught me by surprise he um I guess behind me there's six or eight squirrels that are running around over here there's I don't know maybe three there's some playing in the creek in front of me there's four of them to my right in the trees and sitting on this ledge just sitting here watching me so there's noise all around me but that buck kind of snuck in on me I didn't see him until well he was kind of not far away, to 20, 30 yards. I heard a branch break, and I don't know if it was him or one of them squirrels, but I looked up and he was there. But uh, he was, you know, an average age, he's probably two and a half years old. This is a flock of longbeards. These turkeys flew over my head about an hour, hour and a half after sunup and they slowly worked their way down the hill towards me and slowly crossed this pasture here. But it looks like some real nice, nice birds and hopefully they'll stick around for the spring when uh, turkey season opens up again. These birds hung around for quite a while. Uh, the five out front, you know, they were all fine with everything, but the three in the back, they hung in the cover for a little while. I don't know if they saw something but they were a little more weary than the, uh, the front five. Could be that I had orange on and they were a little bit nervous about that, but they eventually worked their way out and these are the trailers here, the final three. I cut a bunch of footage out, but I did want to show some of these guys. So. So it's a little before 11, turkeys finally cleared out. Squirrels are still going strong down here. This place is like Swinger Alley with these squirrels. They're hopping from one, one place to another, chasing each other, all, chasing all sorts of tail here. And I think if you hang out with a bad crowd too long, you know, you can get sucked in. So I think it's best for me to head out and get some lunch and head back out this afternoon. See you then.
So after those goats disappeared around the hill, a doe came out, and eventually there were two more that followed her up over this hill. And the strange thing was, is this was kind of reminiscent of the day before opening day, I was scouting, and these deer, I assume they were the same deer, popped out over this hill, and then a coyote followed them immediately afterwards, making a run at them. They didn't get them, but, or it didn't get them, but it was kind of cool to see. So those deer fed over here for a little while, and then all of a sudden a doe took off down the hill. I don't know what, what or why it did that, but I was waiting for them to come into range a little bit. So the next doe, she kind of did the same thing, fed around a little bit, and then eventually did the same exact thing that that doe did and walked down the hill and eventually kind of ran towards the bottom of the hill. So that first doe ran down the hill, and the other two stood out here for a little bit and feeding. And the second doe kind of took the same path that that first doe took. She worked her way into me to about 138 yards. I contemplated shooting her at that point, but I was hoping to get a closer shot. It was still early in the night in the hunt, so I wanted to wait to see if I couldn't get a closer, better shot, and that shot never came. That third, third doe finally... She walked off and actually met up with another deer that was in the field next to this. And those two just never got closer than 200 yards. So. so that wraps up this 2019 deer season for me. I appreciate you tuning in to this video and into previous hunts too if you did watch those. If you haven't, I, I have taken a couple nice does and a nice buck this season. So uh, it turned out to be a good one for me. Now, I will be doing some coyote hunts, rabbit hunts, perhaps crow hunts, and then in the spring, turkey hunting. Um, I won't necessarily post all those videos unless it turns out, you know, where I get something and the footage turns out well. Uh, filming and hunting at the same time, it, it doesn't always work out like, you know, like a TV show. But, you know, if I get some good footage with that, I will be posting that. I'll also be doing some wild game recipes and some barbecue and uh and that so stay tuned for that if you're new here i'd love to hear from you below and then uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell button for notifications thanks again for watching